everyone. In this demo, I am going to explain how to use the hand building technique known as solid construction or also known as cut and gut. Solid construction is a great technique to use for organic shapes or something that you want to make where you think you would struggle to get the right proportions if you were using slabs or coils. So if you were doing a human figure or a bust or a dog or a rabbit or really just anything else that's organic. So let's say you wanted to do your dog. It would be a great idea to take some pictures of your dog, some facing forward, some from him or her on the side. So you can start to think about how to break up the shape or come up with a shape to make your first base shape. For instance, in the front, you can see his head is very triangular, but if you were looking at through the chest, through the legs, that would be more rectangular. If you had a side view, it's gonna be very much, he's gonna be very much like a triangle. So you could start to get that depth. So take many pictures so you could start to dissect shapes and how you'd start to construct it. But really you just take a bunch of clay and you start piling it together. You could take a basic shape, you could take a triangular shape and then add another triangular, triangular shape to that and attach that and start to put the legs on, the ears on and start to carve back or squish back and shape with your hands the clay until you start to get the proportions that get you your shape or your form or your figure. Same with a bunny. A bunny is a little bit easier to approach because really the body, if the bunny was standing, is more just an oval shape. And the head is just kind of a round shape or an oval shape that comes to a bit of a point where the mouth and the nose are. So when it comes to building a bunny, you could create a big oval shape, a big round shape, and then another round shape that you would attach the head to, and then you would start to shape that. You could roll out some coils for the feet. You could roll out some slabs and cut out the ears or pinch out the ears, but you would start to form this whole shape and put it together and get the proportions, and then you would have to cut it and gut it because in clay, you can't just put solid forms into the kiln because there is a high chance that they will just blow up. So really anything over an inch, you should cut it and gut it. So this obviously, if you were making this to size, this would probably be like four inches by four inches wide. And if you're talking from top to bottom, you're going to have a pretty big mound of clay that you would be using for this bunny, probably seven inches tall, four inches deep and wide. That's just a lot of clay that would be going in the kiln. So after you sculpted your object and you have your proportions set, you need to cut and gut the larger areas. So the feet, the little hands and the feet are gonna be thin enough. They're about an inch or less. So you'll be able to keep those solid. There's really no reason to cut and gut those. So to protect them from drying out or getting damaged when you're cutting the larger masses in half, you would want to just chop those off, wrap them in plastic and set them aside. Same with the ears. They're very, very much thinner than the rest of the form. So you're going to want to chop those off, wrap them in plastic and set them aside. Then you're going to choose where you're going to make your cuts. I suppose you could cut 
off the head and carve up into it to gut out the head. Or because this is a simple form, you could just do a cut where you go up the belly, like kind of through the nose, through the back of the head and back down through the back. You will then have a seam where the nose is. So that's why you may wanna make the choice to cut off at the neck, go up and cut and gut this portion out, set that aside, and then just cut through the belly up the back and gut both of these sides and put that back together. Once you score and seal these two sides together, you can score here, put the head back on, and then get your wrapped feet, hands, and ears and score and reattach those. I just wanted to show you a few images of some more complex forms you could do and how you would break those up when you go to create your sculptures.